Hi there, you little chicken nuggets, and welcome to Grill TV. Welcome to Grill TV. Hosted by Carl. Where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now, once again, welcome to Grill TV. Hey there, kids, how are ya? Oh, hey. So you're probably wondering why I got my eyes shut. That's yeah, simply because of one reason. As I am sure you are fully aware, I have decided to live my life as a full robot. My journey from human to robot is about 93%. I am so close. A lot of people keep asking me, hey Carl, why do you want to become a robot? Well, that's easy. They're strong, they got a computer for the brain, for the, so they're like really smart. They have no muscles, so they never get tired, and they can consume a five pound bucket of nuggets in 10 minutes. Oh, and they also have super duper, uh, super duper vision, like lasers. I actually heard that some robots can stare from millions of light years away. Isn't that incredible? So today I'm going to show you my new invention, my brand new robot glasses. Ah. Ah. What do you think? I love them. Ah, who is that? Carl, it's me, Jada. Oh, hey, Jada, how's it going? Good, are those robot glasses? They sure are. Can you see out of those? I sure can't. <laughs> nice. Why are you wearing those? I don't know, I wanna be a robot, but it seems like I'm mm, failing. Why do you say that? I don't know, I just wanna be a full robot, you know? Like a Terminator type of indestructible. Like super duper vision, but I can't see with the, those those things, I put them in my robot body. Yeah, I'll keep wearing these. Yeah, well, I think you're on the right path and it's okay if you can't see those glasses. You know why? Because you're gonna pay for me to have a robotic eye surgery? So I shoot lasers out my eyes? As I was saying, you don't need super high tech robot glasses to see clearly because Jesus teaches us how to see things the right way. Uh, do you care to expand on that? Sure. So I was reading in John chapter nine today and I read the story of Jesus and the blind man. And this man hasn't been able to see for his whole life. Oh wow, that can't be easy. This man was known in the city by almost everyone. Every day people would pass him on the street because he would sit there and ask people for money and for help. One day Jesus and his disciples were walking by and the disciples asked a question. They asked Jesus who sinned, this man or his parents that he was born blind. Wait, are they saying that the only reason they think he's blind is because him or his parents messed up somehow? Yep. What? That's messed up. What kind of question is that? Well, back in the day, there were people who believed that the reason why some people had certain issues or struggles was because of their sin or their parents' sin. Wow, what'd you just say? He said, neither this man nor his parents sinned, said Jesus, but this happened so that the works of God might be displayed in him. Hmm, what happened next? Jesus then spit on the ground, made some mud, then rubbed the mud on the man's eyes. Yeah. Oh, sorry, continue. Jesus then told the man to wash himself in a pool and guess what? The man was able to see with eyes for the very first time. No way! Time to mm, celebrate. The thing is, not everyone wanted to celebrate. What? There were these religious leaders called Pharisees that didn't like that Jesus did what he did. Excuse me, how? It's a miracle. A man's life was changed forever. I know, but it drove these people nuts and bolts. And that's kind of where I learned an important lesson in the story. What's that? Well, in this passage, Jesus tells us he is the light of the world. Like a light bulb? Kinda. You see, the world is filled with darkness, and that darkness is sin. Our choices that are bad and against what God has in mind for us. But Jesus is telling us that he is the light. He will be the one who can help us see through the darkness. Oh, wow. I walked around in the dark. It stinks. I want to step my toe in something. It's 
terrible. So what Jesus was talking about was that even if we are able to use our eyes to see, that's not the most important seeing he wants us to do. Jesus taught us that we need to learn how to see things God's way. And we can only do that through Jesus, the true light. So like the Pharisees, they were able to see that the man was healed, but they couldn't see past their own stubbornness to see God's love and power, right? You're absolutely right. Jesus changes not only how we see ourselves, but the whole world and everything in it. I love that. Hmm. So I know, I think it's kind of cool that Jesus liked to play in the mud too. Hey there kids, today's big idea is Jesus changes how we see things. So let's say that in our best robot voice on the count of three, okay? Ready? One, two, three. Jesus changes how we see things. Perfect job, everybody. Now make sure to tune in next week because I have a feeling Carl is pretty close to figuring out this whole robot thing. <laughs> see you then. Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of 